Hey gang, your pal Dallas here with Privateer Press. And last time we got our skin and bones all set for the tabletop. Today, we're gonna amplify the nightmare with some shading and some highlights. So let's get started. So to kick up our skin and bones, we're gonna highlight all the flesh areas with some Midland flesh. Let's pull out a generous portion of our Midland flesh. We're just gonna start Load your brush, loosen your paint, get a little twist, get that point on there. Sharpen your pencil. And we're just gonna apply some highlights to the upper surfaces. These are just some general highlights to accentuate a bunch of the crevices and wrinkles of the flesh here. Just going over all these upper surfaces very quickly. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. Just give it some highlights anywhere you think will look really nice. All these upper surfaces. Really wanna focus on outside of him because all this is kind of in shadow. And of course, across this shoulder, where a lot of light would catch. It's kind of the upper area. I'm just using the side of my brush, kind of just catching the upper surfaces. And just work your way all the way around him, just working in your highlights. Really looks good against that wash that we did earlier. A couple stretchy lines there. I'm painting, you know, painting nice and loose and not really worried about perfection. I'm just using more of a gesture, like just giving the impression of the form. Not worried about following the exact lines, but just 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 reinforcing that the the, the physical form of the model. This is really, really helps in tabletop painting because it allows you to paint quicker without worrying so much about precision technique or perfect blends or anything like that. Just getting in there and just creating that, that cool factor. All right, we got some quick highlights on the skin. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but on the meaty parts. And for this, I'll just be mixing a little bit of scorn red into that Midland flesh. We'll just use this to highlight our meaty bits. And for this, I'm just going to take and make horizontal slashes across the meat. I'm just going to go across, and this shows off that meaty, fleshy, sinew and tendon. I'm just gonna keep most of my strokes horizontal here. Once again, I'm not going for perfect, I'm going for very gestural. Just painting gross. You can use the side of your brush like that. I'm just tapping going up and down there. Just look at the striations and kind of, just kind of emphasize the form. It's real quick painting. Same here. I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm just gonna focus on that upper surface. You know what, let's go off script. Let's add some Minoth White highlight to that. I wanna kick that up a notch. I wanna take it another step. I want to really have that sinew look to it. So we're gonna really pump up the white in this. Just think about the last time you were at the butcher's counter. That's my color. I just want this, just some little tiny dots on the very upper surfaces. It brings that wetness to that meaty bits. If you get down here on the belly, you can really 
really bring that sinew look to that abdominal region. Just a couple of little lines, nothing fancy. Just barely touching it, no magic techniques. Just giving that impression. Definitely up here on this shoulder. Never play a game of bloody knuckles with this dude. Maybe a little bit of line there to make that look stretchy and gross. Maybe another one here. And I love this arm over here. Such a good arm. A couple little dots. Maybe a line on this side. I'm working very quickly and I'm just kind of, just kind of putting those dots where I think would look really nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. For our final step, we're gonna take some Cossite flush wash and we're gonna do a very controlled wash in the deepest shadows of the skin. And what this does, it adds more depth to that flush. So we've highlighted the upper surfaces. Now we're just gonna shadow the lower surfaces. Cause it's much darker than the Caspian. So by just constraining it to the lower area, just adds that set of overall contrast that we like to talk about. And any of the little eye holes that didn't get filled before, go ahead and just blurk some in there. Like I said, just keep it to the lower areas. Use it to accentuate the overall work you've already created. There's no right, there's no wrong on this. This is your army, your way. Just have fun with it. You know, and be thinking about light. Be thinking about the shadow. That's what we're working on here. Just thinking about where the light and shadow falls. But if you don't get it perfect, that's okay. There's always next time. Another thing I like to do is paint in my wash. Maybe give it a little blend. Something you can practice. Looks like this guy is about ready to be done. And just like that, with a couple of quick steps, we've enhanced our model to make him even more frightacular. Next time, We'll take the fear up further and bring the teeth and bone weapons to unlife. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby line. I bought beard cream just for these videos.